what's going on we are reviewing conan the barbarian issue number four from titan comics now it started out with like a zombie sort of thing in the first couple issues conan went to some tower and there's some evil going on there and it looked like he almost died uh, while his lady friend escaped to the south before and we'll see what happens uh over the course of this new issues she came back of course to try to help at the end of the for the last issue and here we are the art's fantastic um this guy is amazing uh it's uh his name is uh, de la torre and uh he really captures the conan essence uh, about perfectly i don't remember if the paper is different in this issue or or if it's been this way the whole time this one feels like shinier and glossier than i remember the others being i i need to kind of go find those issues and see if they were all like this um but honestly like if you're going to do this style of art I'll, I'll recommend to titan books i would use a matte paper um, that doesn't like shine because it, it gives you that 70s crisp feel uh, more so and that's that's kind of my that's honestly my only criticism of the book uh which i guess is a spoiler in this in in that uh you know i don't i really don't like it when it's this glossy of paper now conan meets with this like old shaman from ancient times like in his like dream as fever dream as he's sinking into the abyss in the water here uh and there's this whole deal about the past and the spear uh, and you get a beautiful two-page spread here uh, as we continue on with the book and Conan eventually comes out of it, uh, slays all the, the bad guys that he sees, and uh, that is the end of that. And I guess uh, the zombie hordes kind of disappear along with their influence there. And so he goes back out, uh, asks about the woman. Apparently she went into the tower as it got destroyed, and then it cuts to a little bit later, um, and this little shard of the bad stuff's found by somebody else. Uh, who might come back later and uh, and revisit this uh, storyline again. So a pretty decent wrap-up. Um, I'd say that like the suspense uh, kind of like peaked in issue three and not here. Um, and so it kind of just felt like the wrap-up, and we kind of knew it was going to end at this point. And I'd say there wasn't that big of an epic final battle here for the last issue of this storyline. Um, a little bit of a, a, a just let down from issue three on that point, but, uh, but still it just flowed very well. It felt like an old Conan story. It felt like something out of the seventies, which is exactly what I want. Uh, they, they did a perfect job of this and did not, uh, have any apologies for Conan as character or any of the setting that's going on here. So I look forward to where this goes. I really think that Titan has something good here with this creative team, Jim Zub and, uh, the De La Torre guy. Uh, I should get his first name so that I don't just call him De La Torre guy. <laughs> Uh, at this point, I should I should know this, right? Uh, gosh, there's a lot of credits on here. Where do they even put this? Uh, gosh, this is tough. They put every person in the company on this uh, on their credits page here. Here we go. Uh, and uh, Rob De La Torre. Rob De La Torre is doing a great job. And I assume like they'll probably have to rotate the artist uh, in order to have them keep up with deadlines and things like that uh, as they do. But uh, this is a good start to a series. So I call this ending an 8 out of 10. Overall, the storyline's a 9 out of 10. So good stuff. And uh, I look forward to seeing this. And I know that they're coming out with like, they're doing even variant covers of the trade paperback coming out of this one uh, from what I've seen. So Titan Comics seems to be knowing what they have with this property and actually doing a pretty good job with it. We'll see how things continue. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.